Time to go green flag racing e mod style. All right, race fans, as they come through turn number three, they're going to make some noise as they come down the front straight away. Allie Mulek on the gas is coming by the iron cone. Good start for the young lady. She goes in with car number 51, hanging right on that outside. Dustin Lawrence will not get the lead. Here comes Mulek into the lead at car number 90. It's Allie Mulek with the lead. Dustin Lawrence in the second battle on the racetrack. You see them always battling each other. As a 36J and John Brown, the 77, and Kid Bailey. How about Berg right there in the picture? Is him and that blue oval is running back there for six and seven. But up front, oh, Allie Mulek leading the way in car number 90. It's all Allie Mulek at the moment. Dustin Lawrence in second. 36J, John Brown fourth. Third, 77 to Kid Bailey fourth. And there's Amos Moses, Leroy Cameron's in there in fifth. The old hammer, John Brown, coming toward And around goes to 77 of Bailey. He gathers it back up. How about the good move by hitting as he stays? Keep that car rolling, we stay green flag on the racetrack. And over the bank in turns number one and two goes the 51 of Dustin, North, Dustin Lawrence. Lawrence oh, thought he was going to get it back going, buddy. Oh, it's a stop there at the top of turns number one and two. Yellow flag, yellow flag down on the racetrack. And he'll pull away now. And I'll black flag his ass. <laughs> How about the lady up front? Gets a good start halfway through turn three and four. Oh, it's about a car late two leads are going to turn number one. A great start by 90 of Allie Mulek. Second place still belongs at 36J. John Brown gets a little bobble going through turns number one and two. Everybody takes a base of maneuvering. The man on the move right now is that car number 41 of Rowdy Deshaun. He started shotgun on the field all the way up to fifth. Back to front comes car number 41. He said it was going to be a little rowdy tonight. But how about J.R. Berg making his presence felt as he is? All the way up to that fourth spot in the wall. J.R. Berg sitting in fourth, a 6A. Leroy Cameron in third. Then comes a 36J, John Brown in second. He's trying to run down that 90 of Allie Mulek. Mulek up front. The old homecoming queen right in the night as she comes down the front straight away. Two, Carl Inc. lead on the 36J Brown. And to turn number one goes your race leader, the 90 of Allie Mulek. 36J, John Brown looks down to the inside. It looks like it's going to be a drag race down the back straight away. High side prevails with the 90 of Mulek still in the lead. The lady ain't going easy as she runs up perfect lines. And around. A little bit coming off turn number four. Around goes the 63D of Dustin Talbot in turns number one and two. Takes a little bit of agricultural engineering there on the infield, gets it refired, and we're yellow flag out on the racetrack. What kind of engineering was that? Agricultural engineering. I called it agricultural farming. What does engineering mean when it comes to dirt? <laughs> Get on around the racetrack. Up on the back of them is a green flag. Going to be coming out. Down the front straight away. Millick with the lead in the wall. Another great start by your leader, car number two, Allie Mulek, but also a great start by the 36J and John Brown. John Brown going to dive it down to the inside. Mulek slips a little. Brown and takes a base of the maneuver and keeps it out of trouble. We're still green flag racing. Nice job by Brown as he gets on the brake. Millick didn't know he was down there, so he dives on the brake. He slips up a little. Millick with a three, four, Carl Lake lead into one. A great move by the 88 BJR Berg. He's slinging high in turns number three and four. Again, slinging it high in turns number one and two. Tried to take over the third place position from the 6A of Amos Moe. We're trying to split the 6A. We can't get it done as Rowdy thinks better of it. Settles back into that fifth spot. And Berg slips way up the racetrack. And here comes Bailey. Three wide down the front straightaway. Halfway through this feature, still your race leader, the 90 of Allie Mulek. Second place still belongs to this one at 36J, John Brown. He's going to look to the inside and around goes J.R. Burke. He spins it, loops it down in turn number one, two, keeps it going, keeps those RPMs up. We stay green flag racing with Mulek, still your leader. He may have done that on purpose, but we got a battle for the lead. New leader to line, 36J in the hammer, John Brown. John Brown taking great positioning through turns number three and four. Mulek going to drive down to the inside. We're side by side going down the back straightaway. How about this? The racing lady does a crossover move on him and she's going to slide it in hard. Brown going to try to dive it back under there. Can't get it done. Here comes Mulek with the lead. But look at Bailey making his presence fail. It's Allie Mulek with the lead. He's, she's got a competitor in the 77 of Kent Bailey there on the high side. John Brown gets a Gary here. Great run on turn number two. We're side by side going down the back straightaway. Let's just go three wide as we go through turn number three. Coming off turn number four. Mulek not going to give that lead up, and she is right in the middle of the racetrack, down the straightaway. She's still your leader in the one. Going to be dealing with lap traffic around this corner as the 63D of Talbot loops it in turns number one and two. Mulek still has the lead. Here comes Bailey on the high side lap of the 91. These guys doing everything they can to pass that fast 90 car. Mulek not going to give it up as she come down the front straightaway. Lap traffic getting in the way as she looks on the inside, hangs over the lead in the 
one. She's still your leader with the 77 to Kit Bailey right there in second. 36 J. John Brown. Here comes Rowdy Deshaun. Rowdy Deshaun split him, man. He's all the way up to second, but yellow flag out on the racetrack. Yellow flag out on the racetrack. Bailey off the pace. Something to miss on car number 77. Drive shaft laying on the straightaway down here into turn one. That was the 77 of Kent Bailey's drive shaft. You pull it, you see him pull it down into the infield and off of turn number two, one and two. Let's Not see. the way he wanted his light night to end. Let's see, Alan. How do you know it was his car? Oh, he's the only one still not going. Well, oh, they start on midway through. Brown going to look on the inside as she gets hammered down. Down the front straightaway into turn number one. It's Mulek on the high side, 36 J and Brown on the low side. Mulek gets a great run, slips a little bit coming off too. Here Back it comes, over. 36 J and John Brown, 41. Rowdy Deshaun also going to get by her. Here comes Amos Moses as well. Millie gonna look on the inside of Deshaun. Is she gonna be able to get it back done? As she slipped coming off turn number two, as a white flag comes in the air. Off the track goes the 63D of Dustin Talbot as they already took the white flag. 36 J and John Brown is your leader. But I don't see the 63D of Talbot out there on the racetrack. Caution on the racetrack, so we will be looking at a green, white checker. They've gotta take the uh, checker in there. Turn number four, down the front straightaway into turn number one. It's the 36J of John Brown, your leader. He's got his hands full, trying to come from the back to the front. That is the 41 of Chris Deshaun. Here comes Mulek back to the front. Mulek not going to give it up easy as she is driving right up on the back bumper of Deshaun. Going to be looking on the inside, but Rowdy ain't going to have it as he runs in that second spot. White flag in the air. A little bit of trouble for the one of Kyle Henning going through turns number three and four, but back up front. Everybody chasing that 36J of John Brown. Second place belongs to the 41. Rowdy Deshaun pops, take us home. Coming through turn number three. Going to be the driver of that car number 36J. As he, we are side by side for that second spot. Joint winner of the 36J of John Brown. Second place, the 41 of Rowdy Deshaun. And an impressive third, car number 90, Ali Mulley. And in that fourth spot, the 6A Elite Roy Cameron. And coming back to the front, car number 51 of Dustin Lawrence. And let's give a big shout out to the 88 of J.R. Berg as he brought that car back to the front. Looked it, kept it going. No caution. Come back toward the front. Great job. Here tonight as we're getting ready to come through turn number three. Coming off turn number four. Green flag waving down the straightaway into one. Going into turn number one again. We're going to have a Thomas Oak sandwich. Gilbert on my high side. Ross on the inside. Here comes Bruce Lewis Jr. in the 77. Oh, them not going to go quietly this time as they're side by side. Wheel to wheel. Him and Ross for second. But up front. Gilbert out front. That 23G car. So it's the 23G. Greg Gilbert, your race leader. <laughs> Look at the moves by the 29 of Brady Link. He slung it up high where nobody else would go. Past three cars in one corner. He's all the way up to fourth. The missing link goes where no man dares to go as he is already up to the fourth spot. We have a battle for the lead. Gilbert on the outside. Ross on the inside to go through turn number three. Coming, Coming up. Coming off turn number three, new race leader this time by as Gilbert dives it back out on the inside track, racing down the short finish line. New leader, the 34, Mick Ross Yellow, out on the racetrack. Yellow out on the racetrack as the 47X up against the wall. 77 Bruce Lewis Jr. Okay. And showtime, Bruce Lewis is there, hooked together down there, up against the wall. 77. Straight away, car number 34, Ross to the good stars. He goes into turn number one. With Ross with the lead, Gilbert in second, Brady Link in third. Link going to try to look on the inside of the 23G, Greg Gilbert, and around goes the 15 of Josh Atkins. How did half crazy miss him as he come down across the racetrack, but he did as Atkins keeps that car rolling. Gonna going back out on the racetrack. Hammer down, we take green flag racing. Going to be dealing with lap traffic. New second competitor <laughs> in the 29 of Brady Link. Everybody chasing that. Maysville Muller, the 34 of Mick Ross. Right behind him, that 29 of Brady Link. And Roxy still didn't break me popcorn. As they come off turn number four down the front straightaway, Atkins trying to get out of the way, but here comes Ross. Going to be dealing with the lap traffic. It's Ross with the lead in car number 34. Second place belongs to the 29 of Brady Lee. Third place, the 23G, Greg Gilbert. Then comes the half-crazy car of Willard, followed by the 77, Bruce Lewis Jr. Lewis Jr. having a little bit of difficulty in turns number one and two. I tell you what, it tells you how fast that car, 15 car Atkins is. He is staying out front, not getting lapped. But here comes the 34 Ross, closing in into one. So it's Ross with the lead. Brady Lincoln, hot pursuit. Car number 29 chasing car number 34. Link gets a good run off turns number one and two. Everybody chasing the 34 of Ross. I tell you what, it looks like that missing Link may be coming toward the front. How about Brady Link? All the way part of the Iowa Mafia down here trying to run down Mick Ross as we go into turn one. Creative image on the side, the 34 of Mick Ross. It looks like he lost about a 
car length and a half lead over the 29 of Brady Link. Brady Link cutting into that lead lap after lap. It looks like we're going to have a duel to the finish. Yeah, it's going to be a shootout as they are going to be dealing with lap traffic. It always comes into play on this fast 3 8 mile of dirt. He's within a car link of him. It's a white flag. Comes out into one. White flag one more time around as they're going to be a little lap traffic this time. The lap traffic is coming into play halfway through the last lap. Rick, take us home. Coming through turn number three. He's going to be looking for the lead as he comes off turn. He's going to dive her to the inside. Does he have enough? Hanging on the lead. Give the win to car number 34 of Mick Ross. Second place goes to the 29 of Brady Link. Third place to the 23G, Greg Gilbert. Fourth place to the half crazy of Willard. And rounding out your top five, I believe, will be the 77 of Bruce Lewis Jr. We're ready for green flag racing. Watch these cars fly to come down the front straightaway into turn number one. A great start by your race leader, car number 01 of Bobby Lane. Everybody chasing that 01 of Bobby Lane. 13 of Luke McGee right there in second. 51 Mark K. Billings. Here comes Ryan Kinn up to fourth. That Ryan Kinn, that car number third. Very fast race cars. He settled down the fourth. Look at Billings and McGee side by side as Billings takes over the second spot into one. So it's Bobby Lane with the lead. Billings in second. Luke McGee in third. Ryan Kinn fourth. And Tony the Tiger Lane in fifth in the car number 71. I tell you what, we got a battle hurt heating up for the lead. You got 01 on the inside of the lane. Here comes Billings on the outside. Close it in uh, right on the buffer into one. It was Bobby Lane leading that time. I don't think it's going to hold us 51. And Mark K. Billings has the high side. Lane makes the low side prevail going into turns number three and four. Car number seven getting that car off. That is Ken Billings out of the way as we're racing up front. Oh, Lane. And into the tractor tire goes the 71 of Tony the Tiger Lane. It looks like something to miss on his car as he took a hard left turn into that tractor tire coming off turn number three. Very uncharacteristic for that 71 car. I say that something definitely had to break on that race car. Green flag, 0-1 with a good start. Lane, your leader in one. A great start by your race leader, car number 0-1 of Bobby Lane. But here comes Mark K. Billings on the high side. Thinks better of it. Looks out to the low side. We're going to be side by side going into three and four. There he goes. Throwing it on the high side. Bobby Lane on the inside. We're going to be wheel to wheel, wing to wing. Bobby Lane hanging on the lead. Bobby Lane still with the lead, but Mark K. Billings has that high side momentum. Looks like low side's going to prevail on this one with the 0-1 of Bobby Lane leading the way into three and four. Bobby Lane. Got that car working on the inside. He jumps to berm, gets up in the air, but settles back down. That allows Billings to give him a run. He's going to one. Going into turn number one. It's a battle for the lead between the 01 of Bobby Lane, the 51 of Mark K. Billings. Meanwhile, off the track, car number three, Bill Hughes. He pulls that car into the infield, but back up front. It's a battle between Billings and Lane. Bottom line, high line. Who's it going to be? It looks like 01 may not be the fastest car, but he seems to manipulate turn number three and four better. Off the pace goes car number 81 of AJ Tice. She's going to take that hard right turn, get that car off the track. We stay green flag racing with the 01 of Bobby Lane, still your race leader. Tough break for her. She's still going. She made it through. She made it all the way out of the way, so we will stay green flag racing. Back up front, we got a battle still up front with the 01 of Bobby Lane, the 51 of Mark K. Billings. Is Mark K. Billings playing the waiting game, or is he going to dive it to the outside in three and four? Don't think he wants to wait any longer as he's got that car hooked up. New leader July, car number 51 of Mark K. Billings. 51 of Mark K. Billings, your leader. That moves the 01 of Bobby Lane back to second. Luke McGee, great showing here tonight in third place in car number 13. Ryan Kent coming through the pack in car number 30. He's in fourth with the 88 of Jared Solomon. Rounded out your top five. Car number 51 of Mark K. Billings, liquid powder coat finishes and BLS chassis on that race car. As he is your leader, starting to pull away a bit now. Once he took on the lead, not willing to look back as he goes into turn number three. These cars are fast around this 3 8 mile as Billings hangs on that lead. Coming off turn number four, fire reaper in the flag stand in the wall. Yellow flag out on the racetrack, 30 of Ryan Kent loops it in turns number four. Boy, I'm old tonight, Alan. Every time I'm looking one way, something happens to the other. So stay on top of things for me, son. I saw it after it was all over and the yellow was out. Uh -huh. That was the 30 of Ryan Kent that looped it coming off turn number four. But up front, your race leader, car number 51 of Mark K. Billings, right behind him, car number 01 of Bobby Lane. Then comes the 13, Yellowbird, Luke McGee, the 88 of Jared Solomon, and now rounding out your top five, the 99C of Chet Gates. Oh, Gaines. I got a compliment you on that. As the lights are out, it's go time. Midwest Lightning Sprints. And here we go, race fans through turn number three. Going to be coming off turn number four. 
tire down on these little bumblebees as they go into turn number one. So it's Mark K. Billings with the lead, the 01 of Bobby Lane sitting there in second, has his hands full with the 13 of McGee. McGee trying to get the run going into turns number three and four. Luke McGee, always a fast race car. Old Yellow Bird already picked up a win this year, doing everything he can. But Lane, hang on to that second spot. Take a two one. Everybody chasing the 51 of Mark K. Billings. Second place still the 01 of Bobby Lane. Luke McGee riding around in third. A great run by the 88 of Jeremy, Jared Solomon sitting in fourth. And how about Chet Yates right there in the blue car and Peyton Moreland as they come through that. Tony the Tiger mounting his comeback as he works his way up three. But up front, oh, car number 51 of Mark K. Billings. He's pulled out to about an 8, 9, 10 car length lead as he goes through turn number three coming off four. Going to be coming by the flag stands and the lap start winding down. 13 in the book this time by. 13 laps down for the race leader, car number 51 of Mark K. Billings. Bobby Lane in car number 01 as off the pace goes car number 30 of Ryan Kent. Ryan Kent pulls his car off the racetrack. That's going to put the 51 of Mark K. Billings taking the white flag one more time around the racetrack for your leader, car number 51 of Mark K. Billings. Does Bobby Lane have anything to offer on Pops? Take some. Coming down the back straightaway. Going to be going into turn number three. Coming off turn number four. Let's give him a big round of applause. He worked it hard, found the front, didn't look back. Your feature winner, Mark K. Billings. Second place, driver of that car number 01 of Bobby Lane. Then comes car number 13, Yellow Bird of Luke McGee. Then comes car number 88, Jared Solomon in the 88 car. And then car number 71 of Tony Lane. Let's give all these Midwest Lightning Spread drivers a big round of applause as they done a great job entertaining us here tonight. Car number 51, Mark K. Billings. sideways and they collect him behind him but look who slipped by over on the back straightaway the mad dog Matt Dorsal are they going for a Lancaster Kansas sweep here tonight because you already had Donnie Brown win you got John Brown win now their neighbor mad dog Matt Dorsal sitting out in front here in the B-Mods if they do I'm partying in Lancaster tonight buddy it's gonna be a happy place so nowhere for anybody back behind him to go. That collects the 21C, Chad Clancy, 57, Randy Ainsworth, 76 of Ronnie Miller, 96C, Jim Cameron. I believe that is the 91 of Eddie Green flag racing. Tough break for the 9H and Nick Haynes as he put tags that car in the rear of the field. It'll be fun to watch him come through, though. Coming off turn number four, down the front straightaway into one. A great start by the 71 of Travis Walker. He takes it out to the end, out in the middle of the track. 222, Dustin Chris, what a great run by him. 3D, Mad Dog, Matt Dorsum. Slipping back a little bit, the 22B of Mitch Moore. 31 of David Coates up there in fourth. Battle heating up for that second spot. 22, 22 of Chris looking on the inside. Going to be a battle for the lead as we go into turn number one. Number four wide coming off turn number four back up front. It's the 71 of Travis Walker, your race leader. 222, Dustin Chris looking down to the inside. It's drag race into turn three. Look at Chris as he hangs on the inside of that car number 71. Dorsey going to choose the high side. Here comes Clancy on the high side. Booer on the inside. 
Let's uh, race it all over the speedway. Great racing action here in USRA B Modified A Main 71 and Travis Walker still your race leader 222 Dustin Chris right there slipping back a little bit the 3D Mad Dog Matt Dorsum here comes Clancy in that 21C. Chris he's made up his mind he's going to run the low side. Looks like Walker may have brought it down a little when he found that he was there, but Travis Walker, Walker Destruction up front, leading the way into one. Mike Nelson, a little bit of wobble going through. Off this boat goes car number 71. Problems with the 71 of Walker. Yellow flag out on the racetrack. Oh, all over the racetrack, down the back straightaway. Yellow flag out on the racetrack. That is the 71 of Travis Walker up in smoke. Not the way he wanted his night to end as he was out front leading this feature. Guys, they run fast. Right before, they blow up. And that is a technical term. Blow right? up is a technical term. You can look in any dictionary and find that term, blow up. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's going to hand over the lead to car number 222 of Dustin Chris. That's going to move up the 3D Mad Dog Matt Dorsum right behind him in second. And making his way to the front, they call him Mr. Smooth for a reason. That is the 21C, your USRA National B Modified Point Leader. Also your point leader here at I-35 Speedway and the point leader at Lakeside Speedway. That is the 21C of Chad Clancy. There goes Danny Randy. All right, race fans, I tell you what, how about Dustin Going down Chris? The back straight away, Chris falls into second, 3D, Dorson back to third. Dorson way up the racetrack, look at old Gene Claxton bringing that car to the front. That's way up the racetrack, goes Dorson, that's going to hold the door, fancy, takes over third. One man I'm keeping my eye on, he's the man on the move, that is the 96C, Mr. Excitement, Jim Cameron. He started back in the pack, only two people right behind him, 96C, Jim Cameron, all the way up to seventh, he's looking for more, as everybody chasing the 21C, old smooth, Chad Clancy. Let me get this right, the 21C of Clancy out front, second to 222 of Chris, third to 42 of Gene Claxton as we go through one. Then comes a 3D of Matt Dorsum, 57 of Randy Ainsworth, 33 of Ben Stockton, 96C of Jim Cameron, 22B of Mitch Coor, and the 91 of Eddie Schwoke Jr. Eddie Schwoke Jr. Jr. driving a well over race, he settles that car in about the eighth spot, but he is coming toward the front. But Old smooth Chad Clancy, the weekend mistress, out front, on the way. It's Clancy with the lead, Chris in second. Claxton in third, Ainsworth fourth, and Dorsum fifth. Then comes Stockton. Cameron. Look at Ainsworth, bring that 57 to the front. Whoa, fast barbecue, never went so fast. Down the front straight away. Out front, Westfall GMC, the 21C of Clancy, then comes the 222 of Chris. It's the 21C of Chad Clancy out front. Second place belongs to the 222 of Dustin Chris. Gene Claxon with a great run in that 42. Randy Ainsworth up to fourth with a 3D of Dorsum taking the high route in turns three and four. High route may not be the way around as he has slid back through the pack a little bit, but still very respectable right there in that fifth spot. If you're going to run with the best, you got to come here to I-35 Speedway. This is the best. And Chad Clancy, car number 21C out front. He ain't pulling away. It's Chris. <laughs> 21C, Chad Clancy setting the pace here tonight at I-35 Speedway. 222, Dustin Chris right there in hot pursuit with the 42 with Gene Claxton in third in hot tow as well. Coming down the back straightaway, Old Smooth still up front. Out of the deep concrete pumping, Westfall GMC out front and pulling away. A little bit of trouble as he went through turn three and four. That's going to allow Chris to close up just a little bit. Gather it up, we stay green flag racing. And it's still Clancy in the weekend, Mistress out front. The lap traffic gonna come into play as Mike the Babyface Nelson in car number 95 having a little bit of trouble in one and two. We stay green flag racing. Still the man on the move, that 96C of Jim Cameron. He's up to sixth. He keeps taking him away. What did you say earlier? That car number 57 and the 96C always seem to get together. As Mike Nelson takes your hand. Yellow flag, yellow flag out on the racetrack. Caution on the racetrack. There is a spring on the racetrack, debris on the racetrack. Somebody lost a spring. Right. I'm betting it was car number 95. Just going out on a limb here. They come to turn number three. Past the corner, lifting that left front wheel down the front straight away. Come leader in the wall. It's Clancy with the lead. Second place belongs to the 42 of Claxon on the high side. 222 of Chris on the low side. Low side looks like it's going to prepare. Chris takes over that second place position. Good move by Dustin. Chris, as he hangs that 222 on the inside, made it work, took back over that second spot. Look at Dorsum, takes back over the fourth spot, but here comes Cameron looking on the inside, into one. I told you to keep an eye on that 96C, Mr. Excitement, Jim Cameron. He started almost shotgun on the field. He's up to fifth, looking for more, but everybody chasing that 21C at Clancy. Going through turn number three, going to be coming off turn number four, the 21C at Clancy Studio Leader. Nice, dry, slick racetrack tonight. Nice wait, right flag in the air. Three more corners and a straightaway and a half to go for your race leader, the 21C of Chad Clancy. Does the 222 of Chris have anything to offer him? Pops, take us home. We got a lot of good racing back in the pack, but up front we know one thing. 
car number 21C, gonna pick up win number 20 on the year. Give him a hand, 21C, a smooth Jack Classic. Second place, car number 222 of Dustin Chris. It comes to 42 of Gene Claxon, then the three of Mad Dog, Matt Dorson. Car number 57 rounds out your top five, then comes to 96C of Mr. Excitement, Jim Cameron. Something happened. That car come to the stop. Like we say, there are no brake lights on these cars. Jeff Dixon, nowhere to go, runs up on the back of it. But it looks like he is able to continue. Hopefully that 88 of Big Jeff Dixon, no more than cosmetic damage to it. Meanwhile, back up front, everybody chasing that black money. Cover low, Roberts Ranch on the side. Bowler Motorsports, the 65 X of Thomas Roberts. Don't know whether that car jumped out of gear with him or what, but it did. It looked like he dropped out of anchor, and there was... Uh, the 88 of Dixon, nowhere to go, and he will tag that car back in the line. He will get his spot back as the yellow flag did not come out for him. He was just collected in the melee, nowhere for him to go, so the 88 of Big Jeff Dixon going to fall back in line. Thomas Roberts right through the middle of three and four stands on the gas. His heater looks on the inside, down the front straightaway. So it's Roberts in first, heater in second, Newman in third. As back out on the racetrack comes car number 33 of John O'Neill. We're three wide coming out of turn number two. It looks like Newman has the advantage over the 86C of Jake Cameron. Newman hanging on that third spot, but let's just take him three wide through turn number three and four. Dean Ray on the high side. Dixon going to try to follow him through Dallas straight away. Out front, car number 65X, your leader. So it's 65X of Thomas Roberts with the lead. 05 of Brett Heater in second. Newman in the 222 in third. Newman gets a great run off turn number two. He's going to look on the inside of 05 of Brett Heater. Here comes Hollywood. Look at the run. That 65X gets off of turn number two each and every time. But he's got company as we're going to stack them three wide behind him in the one. So it's car number 65X with the lead. Second place in contention between the 222 of Newman and the 05 of Heater. Here comes Hollywood Ray on the high side. And 33, John O'Neill just slams into the wall right in front of the flag stand. Not quite sure what happened to that car as we're yellow flag out on the racetrack. Something definitely amiss with that 33 car or not. John O'Neill Jr. driving it. Goes out, spanks me with him in that race car as we are ready to go green. Coming off turn number four, Thomas Roberts hammering down as we go into turn number one. Again, a great start by your race leader, the 65. That's the Thomas Roberts. Brett Heater on the inside. Newman on the high side. Here comes Hollywood. Hollywood threatening the needle. He's all the way up to third. He's looking to overtake second as him and Heater are side by side going into three. 
Him and Heater are going to be side by side as we go through turn number three and four. Heater way up the racetrack, going to hang on. Momentum's going to carry him into that second spot. And here comes Hollywood. It's Roberts with the lead. Heater in second. <laughs> Ray in third, Newman in fourth with Jake Cameron, the Hulk in fifth. Jeff Dixon on the outside of the top five looking in. As a round goes Lee the 26 Kenny. of Lee, Lee Kinney. Lee Kinney loops it in turns number one and two. He gets it back corrected. He's going the right way. We stay green flag racing with a 65 exit. Thomas Roberts, your leader. Starting to tighten up up front. Looking to run that 05, gets on the high side. Each time he gets through that turn real good down here in three and four, he gains a few car lengths, loses it back in one and two. Coming through turn number three. Peter on the high side, Thomas on the inside. Look at Dean Ray, looking at the middle. It's going to be close to the line. Give it to Roberts in the wall. It was Roberts by about half a car length. He better get on the wheel because he's got company. That 05 of Brett Heater going to use that high side momentum. Wow. He's on the high side. Here comes Ray as well. Heater couldn't have been no more than mere inches off that concrete wall as he hanged her way up there. Looks like car number 65 may not be up to fire. Stay in green as we go in the wall. New leader, the 05, Brett the Hitman Heater. He's bringing the heat tonight. 05 of Brett Heater on the high side. <laughs> 65 exit Thomas Roberts coming back on the low side. Don't count out. Ray in third and the 222 and Newman in fourth. Looks like Heater has found something on that high line. Bringing the heat up high. Cheater, Heater engines in that car as he goes through turn number one. It's Brett Heater with the lead. Going to be dealing with lap traffic here in about a lap or so. 65 exit Thomas Roberts going to tie that inside one more time. Battle on the racetrack shaping up between the 860 of Jake Cameron and the 88 of Big Jeff Dixon. Best of the best comes here to the race. As Lee Kenny gets that car side right in front of the leaders. Gets it back up as he just showing the passing flag in the turn number one. Going into turn number one. Lap traffic always comes into play here at I-35 Speedway. Oh Heater goes out to the inside. Thomas Roberts is right there as well. The 26 of Lee Kinney. Lap traffic coming into play, going into three. You don't think Thomas Roberts knows how to drive this racetrack. He saw that coming before he even got there. But up front, Brett Heater hanging on the lead in the one. Brett Heater with the lead. Thomas Roberts <laughs> in second. Dean Ray third with the 222 and Newman fourth in the 86 C and Jake Cameron rounding out your top five. Thomas Robert, Will Hobson coming off turn number two. Didn't even slow him down. He didn't crack the throttle. Heater staying on that high side. Roberts staying on the inside. Looks like high side momentum working that's brad heater gonna lead lap 11. heater with the lead thomas roberts right there here comes ray don't count him out with the 222 and newman in the 86 c and jake cameron 88 a bit jet dixon on the outside looking in he's trying to chase down that 86 c this, this race is far from over race fans as you see thomas roberts gaining each time down here in turn number three and one and two but in three and four it seems like heater has found the line up high coming off turn number two it's still heater with the lead, and allowing goes car number one. Car number one of Chris Smith loops it in turns number three and four. He keeps it going. We stay green flag racing. Right in front of the leaders, always here comes Heater. It looks like Thomas Roberts has found that low line working close in within two car lengths, but Brad Heater staying on that high side, making it work. He's bringing the heat on the high side, getting closer and closer to the wall each time. I think he could have stuck his hand out and scratched the wall as he went by that time. Everybody chasing the 05. Like I said before, only mere inches as he has got the left wheel from up on the berm down there. That's a white flag comes out. One more time around. One more time around for your race leader, car number 05 of Brad Heater. Does the 65 exit. Thomas Roberts, any have any five thing to offer him as going down the back straightaway. It's still heater. Thomas, take it off. Coming through turn number three. Bringing the heat here tonight. Let's give him a big round of applause as he picks up the feature win. Brett Heater in victory lane. Second place, car number 65, X of Thomas Roberts. Third, the 77 of Hollywood D. Ray. Four, 222. Jake Newman. Jake Newman. And then come, I think, the car number 86C. Of Jake Cameron. As Alan heads down track side for on track interviews, we got one to go, race fans. The Hold on. He's probably going to want Congratulations. Tell me about that feature out there. Well, uh, I knew I wasn't going to get by on the bottom.
Speedway on Rod and Supply Night at the Races. Race fans, we appreciate your patience tonight. We've had several cautions on the track, but we are good to go now. Real fast racing service. Excellent drivers, excellent cars coming to green off the of turn number four down the front straightaway. Green for the early lead. Here comes Elliot. Here comes Elliot on the high side, Grooms on the low side. 68 of Kerry Davis right there in third with the 75, the Bud Man, Bud Wilson. But up front with a great run off the high side of turn two, the 29 of Big Daddy Dennis Elliott. Oh, Big Daddy Dennis Elliott, he is hungry for a win. Napa Auto Parts on the front, Glenn Denning Motors has it by about three, four car lengths in the wall. So is Dennis Elliott with the lead, Kerry Davis in second. 92, Tyler Grooms on the high side. Then comes the 75, the Bud Man, Bud Wilson with 69 of Zach Sanders, rounding out your top five. Kerry Davis settled in that second spot. Tyler Grooms not willing to give it up that quick car. 92, but here comes Lift on the inside. Zack Sanders coming toward the front. Another man on the move, car number 71 at Jim Hopkins. He's setting them up and knocking them down on his way to the front. 26, that's the Superman, Stephen Glenn, sitting there in sixth with the O Show of Richard Lane in seventh. Car number 29, Ooh. Dennis Elliott is your leader. We got heavy contact, three or four cars, but they all seem to get them back up. Green flag stays on the racetrack. Green flag stays out on the racetrack. Everybody chasing the 29, Big Daddy Dennis Elliott. 68 and Kerry Davis right there in second. 75, the Bud Man, Bud Wilson in third, with Tyler Grooms in fourth and Zach Sanders in fifth. Tyler Great year to Amog this year, making his presence felt. Around goes Austin Justin, car number 98. Caution, caution on the racetrack for the 98. Looks like car number 98 may have clipped the tire down there, jumps up on the berm a little bit, loose it down there, coming off turn number two. What did he do? So up front, your race leader, car number 29, Big Daddy Dennis Elliott. Second place belongs to the 68 of Kerry Davis. Then comes the 75, the Bud Man, Bud Wilson. Tyler Grooms right there in fourth in car number 92. And riding out your top five, the 69 of Zach Attack, Zach Sanders. Just what Kerry Davis wanted to see as he got a little behind on the start there. Van Auto Flex, car number 68 of Kerry Davis. Going to put him right on the back bumper of Big Daddy. This is going to change things. Going to bunch them back up in a Delaware double file restart as you see Austin. Austin Johnson in car number 98. Take that hard right turn off turn number three. I think he's going to go to the hot lane. Yes, he takes the left turn. I believe on to car number 98, the sensation. Austin Johnson going to hit the threat to win anywhere he goes to. He's a U former USRA national point champion. He's right behind the 29. Big Daddy Dennis Elliott is his green flag in the air. It's go time. Boy, Kerry Davis is on the gas right with him as he is right on the back bumper into turn number one. It's Dennis Elliott in the low side. 68 to Kerry Davis, high side, low side has momentum. Here comes the Bud Man. Bud Wilson up to third, looking for more. Kerry Davis has that hot rod on the high side. Bud Wilson right there in that third spot. How about Tyler Green as he is right on the back bumper, Wilson, but up front. Only a car length apart. Car number 29, big D.